there, this is Jackie Jones, founder and CEO of Way We Do. In a previous video, I showed you how to connect Way We Do with Microsoft Forms. So you may have a form such as a customer complaint form um, that is embedded on your website, um, for example. And when a customer completes um, and submits that form, um, it will then send a trigger to Way We Do to run the customer complaint process and invite the store manager to ensure that they are following every step of that process, such as determining how the complaint was received Received, apologizing to the customer, ensuring that they are being comforted, understanding the complaint further, um, and then looking at what the remedy and the compensation is, um, and then determining what the outcome from implementing that or giving that compensation or remedying that particular issue. So is the customer satisfied or are they still dissatisfied? Then investigating what actually happened uh, and then putting steps in place to ensure that complaint is reduced um, in the future or it doesn't happen in the future. So the way that we connected Microsoft Forms with Way We Do is with the use of Microsoft Flow. So Microsoft Flow is a connector and it connects um, multiple web applications together so they can talk um, to each other and you can automate processes um, between all the different apps um, that you use. Uh, so in a previous video, we went through creating a flow uh, to run that checklist instance or the customer complaint process um, within Way We Do when a Microsoft form is completed. So now I want to add just a little piece of information to the checklist instance title that is created in Way We Do, and I want to add a date. So. So we have the checklist or credit checklist instance here as part of this flow. And we've got the procedure ID, which is the com uh, customer complaint process. We then have the title and th the title here is dynamically created. And what I'm doing is pulling in data from the Microsoft form. And I have a field called, what is your name? And so that name appears um, in the instance title when that process runs. And so I want to add some extra data such as a date or when the form, um, what the time and date of when that form was submitted. And so one of the pieces of data that's available that we can use is submission time. However, the problem with this particular submission time is that it, it is in UTC time, not in your own local time zone. So we can actually convert this time. So rather than using the submission time um, directly, we can actually add an, another step um, higher up um, in this flow um, to convert the time and then use the converted time within the instance title. So I'm going to delete this particular submission time. Um, so to add another step, um, you don't have to always go down to add an action at the bottom. Um, you can actually add steps or actions in between um, these um, steps here. So I'm going to click insert a new uh, step or add an action here. So instead of looking, going through all, we can use some of the tools that are available in the built-in tab. And one of those items is date and time. So if I select that item, there's a range of actions available. And the action we want to use is the convert time zone. So we'll select that option there. So it is now asking for a range of information. So the first item is what is the base time? So we have the base time from Microsoft Forms that we can insert. So let's select that particular item. So it's submission time. Then we can then look at what is the, that the time zone that particular submission time is in. Um, in this case, it's in UTC time. So we're going to, which is basically UTC zero. So I'm going to look for that. So it's coordinated universal time. And then we want to select the time zone to convert it to. So I'm going to search for Brisbane because that's where I am based. And actually it's UTC plus 10. And if anyone ever wants to come to Brisbane to visit us, you are most welcome. Um, and then the format string. So how do we want that time to be displayed? So I'm going to choose this option here, full date time pattern, short time. So it displays the time as being the day, the month, the date and the year. And then it has the time and then if it's a.m. or p.m. 
Excellent. Okay, so let's go back into creating the checklist instance and we're going to add to the checklist instance title the converted time. So on the right hand side we have the dynamic content and I'm going to choose converted time there. Great, okay, so we've just completed that flow now of inserting the converted time. I'm going to save this and again with any process that you create um, or flow that you create in Microsoft Flow um, or within Way We Do, you need to test it to ensure that it's working correctly and the flow um, is correct. So I'm going to choose test here and I'm going to choose I'll perform the trigger action. I'm going to click save and test. And I'm going to go to the customer complaint form and run um, or submit this particular form. So I'm going to choose today's date and I'm in Green Slope, so it's the Green Slope store. And my name or the customer name, I'm going to put Mary Smith and the email address, so Mary at smithville.com. The best phone number to call and the issue. So um, I asked for a decaf. I received caffeinated coffee. Um, and we'll click submit. So when this process, uh, when this form is submitted, then we'll go back to our flow, um, the test that's running, and the flow is running. We can see here that the flow ran successfully, and uh, for each of the steps in this flow, there's a little green tick to indicate that it did run well. So let's jump into Way We Do. So I'm actually logged into Way We Do as Jackie at Way We Do. Um, and so this is the instance that just ran. So Mary Smith, and then we have the um, the, the converted time stamp there. So if I click on this item, then we have the again the, the instance title displayed there, and and then now I can run the process. So how was the com complaint received? It was from the website. Um, yes, I apologise to the customer, and I can add comments if I want to do that. Um, and so forth. Okay, so that's how you run the the flow in um, Microsoft Flow. So in adding um, or converting the time zone, and then adding that into the um, the instance title um, when it's run um, in Way We Do. So you can actually create your own flows by going to flow.microsoft.com. Um, if you're using Office 365, it's simply available as part of your subscription. Uh, if you don't use Office 365, you can actually sign up to a trial simply by going to that website. And if you need any assistance with Microsoft Flow or how to connect Way We Do with any of the apps you are using, please contact our support team at support at waywedo.com. Um, you can also visit our support site, so support.waywedo.com. And if you don't have a Way We Do account, you can actually create your own trial account. So go to our website, waywedo.com and you'll see the, the buttons on there for you to create your own trial account. We're looking forward to speaking with you in the future and have fun creating all the flows um, that you're creating. Bye.